Hey guys, welcome back. Yes, it's me. I haven't died. I know I've been piddling along making shorts and stuff like that, but I've been trying to uh, reprioritize my life a little bit. Um, the YouTube thing was starting to sort of take over my life and <laughs> I had to sort of step back and, and uh, take a look, reassess. Because, yeah, the, the YouTube thing, you know, it's sort of, uh, you get caught up in the analytics and you get caught up in trying to feed the machine and and uh, keep keep the uh, views up and all that. But, you know, in the end, um, your family suffers and your relationship with your wife suffers. And so I'm just sort of um, not going to pay attention to the analytics and I'm not going to try and, like, you know, upload a video a day and all that kind of crazy stuff. So... I'm just going to try and do it as I feel like it. You know, like like when I first started out, the YouTube thing, you know, it was just for fun. I wanted to show people my stuff. And then you get caught up in the analytics and you get caught up in the growth of the channel and trying to make money and all that stuff, but yeah, it's just it's just a it's just a futile. I mean, it's not futile. I mean, you can do it, but man, you got to have like some serious focus and put a lot of time into it and yeah, I just, I don't have that, so I'm just going to put up videos whenever I feel like it, whenever I feel like it's fun, you know, interesting. That's sort of Andrew's philosophy, Andrew Butler at Butler Outdoors Canada. He just says whenever he feels like he puts wants to put up a video, he does one, so he doesn't want to be owned by the machine and the algorithm and all that stuff, so, so anyways, with that aside, I wanted to show you guys some junk that I found, more junk. So yeah, I've been sort of stumbling on these old axes and stuff in the past couple of weeks, it seems like. And so I sort of wanted to show you um, the, the uh, oh, what should we start with? How about, how about this one? The one, I did a little short on this a couple days ago, and it had tape all over the handle. And uh, the head of it was sort of interesting, and it had a G on it, and I was like, ooh, maybe it's like a Grand's, Grand's, Grand, I can't even remember how to pronounce it but the the grand's full whatever it is the whole Hulk, hulks or whatever the heck it's called but i thought maybe it was one of those but then uh <laughs> i unwrapped the tape off the handle and it's just a it's just a cobalt brand axe from lowe's but i only paid five bucks for it so I'm, i fooled around with it see this handle was trashed and busted so i got a new handle and then I uh, cleaned up the head, you know, filed all the nastiness off of it and sanded it. It's a pretty cool looking little axe now. Look at that. And you can tell it's the, you can tell the difference between the, uh, you know, I don't know where these are made, probably made in China, I'm assuming, the head. And you can tell the difference in the steel because it files really easy. Like you can file that edge like pretty quick and it was beat. But, uh. It'll make a nice little camping axe. It was fun. But yeah, and the, speaking of steel, so I was at another thrift store and I saw this guy and it said Sweden, drop forged. And so I knew it was, I knew that was a, a good axe. I wasn't quite sure what the brand was. And it came with this, it came with this funky little sheath, which it's not even the right one for it, but I brought it home. But uh, the handle was all jacked up on it. It was all like loose and somebody had done the old nails and screws thing. And so I pulled the handle all apart and fixed it up the best I could. And I put a new wedge in it and it, it's nice and tight now. So this is the original handle. This part was broke off here. So I just re-glued it and clamped it on there. Just, just this front sliver. But I really wanted the original handle, so... It's a nice little axe, isn't it? But anyways, I put a I put a little uh, picture of it on Instagram, and and it has this. I don't know if you guys can see this. It has the little S S W right here. And so, anyways, um, this is a Wetterlings is the brand that these are. These were made back in the day. A Swedish Swedish brand good nice metal you can tell like it's really hard 
But yeah, I paid 20 bucks for that axe. I thought that was a good deal. I, and my cheap, my cheap ass, I almost, I almost passed on it. I was like, eh, I don't know. But then I was like, ah, oh, crap, just get it. Because you know that always happens. You, you go somewhere, you, you kick it around thinking you're going to buy something and then you don't do it and then you regret it. So I was like, I'm just buying it. I'll just buy it. But yeah, that's a Wetterlings. Good old axes. Never heard of it before, but now I did. And then what else did I find? Ooh, this one's interesting. So when I was out of town working, I was at the uh, Habitat for Humanity store and they had a couple of, they actually had three axes at two axes and then this mining pick and I got those for five bucks a piece the handles were completely trashed but this one's interesting look how it's it's a you know it's a splitting axe or it's an, an axe but it's it's sort of like a cross between an axe and a splitting maul look how big the look how big the pole is on that thing and it's really heavy and it says m5 on it so this is like a five pound axe it's sort of cool so it's yeah it's sort of like a cross between a splitting maul and a regular single bit axe so i cleaned that up and put it on a new handle this handle i got from the coastal farm and ranch not a bad looking handle and it fit pretty decent i just had to you know do the usual shaving and stuff but yeah that thing splits good i've tried it man it just smacks it and then I pulled, I, when I, when I, when I, uh, when I took this one apart, it had, I'd never seen one of these wide aluminum wedges like that. So it'd be interesting to know if you guys have ever used these. It looks like it would work pretty good. And then, yeah, and then I, and then there was a double bit axe. And, it, you know, it was rusty, the handle was trashed. But then when I brought it home and started looking at it, I think this is some cheap, Lowe's or Home Depot junk because the handle um, had like epoxy in it up here from the factory. Basically the whole head was epoxied in there and it was a pain in the butt to get it out but it has no markings. The casting is a little wobbly so I'm guessing that this is some cheap Home Depot axe. I only paid five bucks so it'll be fun to grind on it smooth it out and Make a nice little user axe out of it. And then I got me a mining pick. I've never had one of these, so I thought, what the hell, I'll get me a mining pick. See, it's one of those ones where the handle, I don't even know what kind of handles these are, but you see it on a lot of these mining picks and throws and stuff like that. But yeah, so now I got me a mining pick. This one says, it has a stamping on it. I, I, I wanna say it says warranted five pounds all I can see is the W A all I can see is the W A and the and the T E I don't know if you guys can see that but I thought it was interesting so now I got a miner's pick like I need more junk so that was the cool axe stuff I found yeah this one's sort of cool looking a nice little axe and I looked online, you can actually buy these, the cobalt um, camp axe with a hickory handle. It's like 25 bucks. And I got like $15 into this. Five bucks for the axe, $10 for the handle. Not a bad little deal. And it's handmade by me. So that's my little axe fund that I've been working on. So yeah. And then, got me a new chainsaw to work on. The Poolin 335 Pro. But yeah, this is something that um, Bodie at the Novice Lumberjack likes to work on. One of Christina's um, fellow workers, co-workers, um, this thing burned up on him. The piston and cylinders torched on it, but you can get those. And so he gave it to me. And then I, I fixed up a couple more saws for him, and we did a little trading for tattoos Christina wanted another tattoo from him and they're always trading that kind of stuff so so anyways oh and speaking of tattoos check out this new one that Christina's working on the Coleman lantern I wanted a Coleman lantern on my arm so see now I got the 
John Sarid's chainsaw, and then she's working on this Coleman lantern. This is just the outline, but it needs colored and everything. So that'll be cool. Isn't that nice? So yeah, I got a new tattoo. And then when I was at the Coastal Farm and Ranch store, they had some clearance items. They had these chainsaw bars, Husqvarna, 20 inch, um, 3 8 058 and they were priced at $35 half off that so they were like what's that 15, 17 bucks a piece for a 20 inch brand new Husqvarna bar the only thing that's funky is it's the 058 um, width gauge but I put one of my chains that I have in it and it seems pretty tight so let me know what you guys you guys run into the 058 stuff a lot is it oddball is that why they have this stuff clearanced so I got two 20 inch bars and then I got a, they had a couple, um, what do they got here? A couple of 12 inch, um, 325, I think it's 325. Look at that, look at those cute little guys. Clearance those for 15 bucks a piece. Yeah, what size are those? 050, 45 drive links, 12 inch. I'm assuming I'm assuming it's 325 or it doesn't really say, but, but yeah, I mean they're roller nose and or sprocket nose. So yeah, I thought what the heck. You can resell them or use them. Then there's a box of some X cut chain for like 10 bucks that I got. And some other cool stuff, but that was about it. And then my buddy Troy was at a yard sale and he pulled the box out for free and so he picked it up for me. <laughs> and this is what was in it. Look at that. Remington electric chainsaw. Ooh. That's sort of a rare bird, I bet. Hold on, let me grab that. Yes. Yeah, I noticed it was a little dry rotted. It's, it's, it's on this car that we're, uh, oh, we're just fixing it up and we're not gonna drive it for a couple more years. But that stupid tire keeps going flat. So I was, I was hoping if we could just fix it so I can throw it back on there. But yeah, once we start driving it, we'll definitely put some new tires on it. Is it even fixable or what, what, what is it? Oh, you haven't looked yet. Yeah, I see what it is, but I mean, if it's something where you gotta break it down and tear it apart, then yeah, don't worry about it. But if it's just something simple, it's just annoying because the stupid thing goes flat. But yeah, I noticed they were dry cracking pretty bad and stuff. Okay, cool. Okay. Okay. Took one of the tires down there for Max's car. So, what was in the box? Oh yeah, that electric chainsaw. <laughs> the electric. Remington. So yeah, that's sort of cool. We'll have to test that out sometime. And then the cool thing that was in the box, look at this. Little Echo top handle. 280E. Yeah, the stupid thing was just out there for free. A box of free stuff. But yeah, it turns over and everything. Isn't that awesome that Troy picked that up for me? Thanks for thinking of me, Troy. That'll be a fun one. Another one for the Echo Collection. Look, it's got a total super bar on it. It's got that junk safety chain, but that'll be a fun one to play with. So yeah, we got that. And then I had the, had the owner's manual. And another, look at this. Ew. Oh. <laughs> Never mind, I thought it was like a new bar or something, but man, they trashed this bar. Look at that. I think that one's done. <laughs> Look at that. That's one of them weird banana bars. We'll be junking that. Yeah. Now I see why they put a new bar on it. This is probably the box for that total bar. Yeah, and there's a couple extra chains. So that's cool. All right, cool. So yeah, more junk. 
And then my next um, my next video I want to do, I want to, I haven't done one for my McCulloch chainsaws yet, so I thought we'd drag out all the McCulloughs and check out my McCulloch collection. So anyways, that's my little update, guys. Thanks for hanging in there with me while I reconfigure my video schedule and all that kind of stuff. So we'll hope to see you on the next one. Catch you later, guys.